Hey popular people, in this making up video, I'm going to explain one of the most talked about moments in episode 1 of season 5 this year. And that moment was... Genie's epic coffee mug throw. Now for just a little refresher, here's what the shot looked like in the episode. Marissa! Marissa! Matcha and green tea are not the fucking same thing, you idiot duck lip slag! So because we use stop motion animation to make most popular girls in school, we can't actually throw the coffee mug like you would if you were making a live action video. Instead, we need the objects to stay perfectly still for long amounts of time so we can take several photographs. So, how do you take a small little coffee mug like this and make it look like it's flipping around in the air? Well, we use a wire. For this particular shot, we used a small rig like this. Just a tiny piece of armature wire that's glued to a heavy metal plate. So to shoot this throw, the first thing we need to do is take some hot glue and attach the coffee mug to Genie's hand so we can shoot the beginning of the throw. Then once the mug gets to a place where it should be leaving her hand, we're just going to take it off Genie's hand and then we're going to glue it to our little wire platform. We move the mug just slightly away from Genie's hand, and now the mug has begun its moments in midair. Now obviously you can still see the wire, but I'll explain when we get to the editing portion how we can remove the wire once we've made the shot. Now that the mug is on the wire, we can move it in very small increments and it'll hold its place for a long amount of time, which is exactly what we need to get the shots we want so that it can appear that the mug is flying through the air. Finally, after a lot of hard work and dozens and dozens of photographs, we end up with a shot that looks like this. Marissa! Marissa! Matcha and green tea are not the fucking same thing, you idiot duck lip slag! Now that we've shot the throw, it's time to take that clip into our editor and remove the wire. How we did that for this clip was by taking a clean shot of the wall without the cup or the wire in it and using it as a mask to cover up the areas in the shot where you can see the wire. This can take a lot of time because you have to move the mask every frame to adjust for where the wire and the cup end up going during the shot. When all that hard work is done, you end up with the final shot that looks like this. Marissa! Marissa! Matcha and green tea are not the fucking same thing, you idiot duck lip slag! Now we use wires for all sorts of things in stop motion animation, and we use all sorts of sizes. Everything from heavy thick wire to smaller, more bendable wires, all the way down to incredibly small, almost invisible filament. In fact, it was this filament that we used to help Mackenzie throw her cell phone in the beginning of episode one. Girls, we're going to France! So now you know how we here at MPGIS like to flip cups. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, bye. Hey popular people, thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, let us know down in the comments below, and let us know what else you want to see on our brand new channel. And please make sure you subscribe right here to the Extra Credit Studios channel. We're going to be dropping a whole bunch of most popular girls in school behind the scenes and featurettes, as well as brand new series that we're developing just for this channel. Yeah, let us know what you want to see down in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, most popular girls in school. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.